Hi, I'm Tracy Noseworthy of Do Yoga With Me. Loving yourself, it's important. We all need it. What we gain, we can give. What we give, we'll get back. Please enjoy this video. It was really dedicated to a lot of self-love. Have fun. Finding a comfortable variation of Varasana. Knees traditionally are together, the tops of the feet, pressing their energy downward so the toenails meet the mat. Lifting the hands below the sitting bones and then pulling the excess flesh away from those bones so that you can anchor the energy down. Notice the side of the body can lengthen, the low ribs will draw to navel, and the crown of the head is again that light lift, energetic lift toward the ceiling. Hands, let's rest them palms face up, thumbs and index fingers draw together with the remaining three fingers drifting energy down toward the knees. From there, take a nice deep inhale. You can open up the mouth and exhale, close the eyes at that point. And then softly draw a seal between the lips and allow the breath to ebb and flow in and out through the nostrils. It is nice to take a soft swallow and noticing how you can release the tongue. Any unnecessary energy held between the teeth. And that is symbolic and it does assist in relaxing the muscles of the face, around the eyes, across the forehead. Even that space that lies between the bottom of the ears and the tops of the shoulders. Rest here for a few moments. Just allow the breath to ebb and flow all on its own. Notice if you are carrying any unnecessary tension into your practice, if there's resistance. And if there is, please look at it. Come to your breath cycle, honor the breath cycle, and invite that love in. We have opportunities to redirect energy, to create space, to transition, changing our own state, our peace of mind. And it does begin with love. And that really is a little deeper when we look at self-love, what we have to receive, what we have to give, and the exchange that exists between those two. Keep the eyes softly closed as you bring your hands together at the heart. Allow your body to be quite tall, full of breath, as you lower the chin down to the tips of the fingers. The invitation for your practice today is self-love. Notice how you carry that through the transitions, with the breath, through the poses, till the ultimate outcome, that of rest. Release your hands, please. Take the eyes back open and empty your breath fully. Inhale, lift yourself high. Tuck the toes, enjoy the blood flow to the feet, and then bring your hands back to the heart as you sit back onto the heels. It's nice to awaken the feet. Take a breath. They carry us from point A to point B and all the way back again over and over again. Take one more cycle of breath. From here, I'd like you to softly reach the hands forward and quietly land on the hands. So as you reach forward, land quietly. Take an inhale, open through cow belly. And then exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog pose. In downward dog, the feet are hip width apart. I'd like you to walk out your dog. So shift from one heel to the other heel. Press the arms towards straight. Root the base of your index fingers and keep that space in the side body long. Bringing yourself back to that 
quiet place, that restful place and downward facing dog. Lift the knees to charge the thighs and press the heels closer toward the back of the mat. Take one big breath in and stay for the full exhalation out. On the inhale, lift both your heels. And on the exhale, bend the knees halfway. Look forward. Your next inhale, step quietly to the top of your mat. And with the exhalation, bow forward. Rooting down, carry your arms wide. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up to stand. Allow the palms to touch overhead. With the exhale, carry the hands back to the heart. Take a breath in and release the hands. Tadasana, breath out. Inhale to sweep the arms high overhead. And exhale, bow forward. Allow the fingertips to come to the earth. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips toward the shins, long halfway lift. With the exhalation, bow forward, place the palms flat, step to high plank pose. Take a breath in your high plank. Lower yourself slowly to meet the earth, hug the shoulder blades back. Inhale, your cobra, lift the heart. Exhale through tabletop, tuck your toes, pressing up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, hips parallel. Exhale, place the right foot to the right thumb and lower the left knee down. Inhale, lift the arms and stretch the side body long. Press into the right big toe mound. Exhale, float the back knee and sweep the hands beside you. Touch the back knee, inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, revisit that back knee floats and hands sweep beside you. Inhale, allow the arms to lift all the way up. Touch the palms and exhale, open to warrior two. Find one flow, the right leg will straighten, the arms lift, and that's an inhale. And then move the hands through the heart and come back to warrior two to settle. The right knee always to stack over the ankle. The toes of the left foot are open and that outside edge of your left foot is rooting. The gaze forward and back, take a breath. Settle deeper. Flip the right palm, reach forward on the inhale, and then reverse the warrior, big exhale. On the inhalation, come back to warrior two, eyes are forward, and exhale, lower your hands, please frame the foot, pause on the toes of the left. Keeping that left palm as your roots, send the right arm in front, inhaling. Send the right arm up toward the ceiling on the exhale. We'll stay for one breath, reach the left side body under, the right reaches open. And then carry that right arm a little higher to the ceiling. Lifting the toes of the right foot, pivot on that right heel open. Pivot to the outside of the left foot open. And then engaging the core strength, step the right foot quietly on top of the left foot. Take a breath out of Vasistasana, side plank. And then exhaling, lower your right palm to the mat, stay in plank. Inhale for the length. And exhale, lift your hips right back, downward facing dog pose. Carry your breath in. And carry your breath out. Inhale, the left leg will lift. Exhale, left foot to the left thumb, right knee to lower. Inhale, your arms float up overhead. Now root the left big toe mound. Exhale, foot the back knee, carry the arms beside you. The heart is forward. Inhale, touch the back knee down and lift the arm. Exhale again. Keep the back knee lifted. Lift the arms. Inhale. Perhaps the palms can touch. Warrior two with the exhale. And then to settle. Left knee over ankle. Toes of the right foot open. And the lift of the right knee charging the thigh. Get softer across the upper back. And put that smile on your face. Reach the left palm to the ceiling. Inhale. Reach forward and exhale. Reverse the warrior. We'll stay for one breath in, lengthen for one breath out. Come back to warrior two, inhale. Lower the hands to frame the foot as you exhale, pause. Come onto the toes of your right foot. With the right palm rooting, send your left arm in front with your inhale, and then open on the exhalation. So again, the left knee is over the ankle, the right palm is your root. Drawing the right side body under the left and keeping that right thigh strong. Allow the left arm to continue reaching up and then lifting the toes of the left foot so you pivot on the left heel. Pivot to the outside edge of the right foot. Get into the strength of the core and slide that left foot quietly to a line on the right. 
Side plank where the hips are big and bright and open. Exhale to lower the left palm down to plank. Please stay. Take the breath in your plank and lift the hips downward facing dog pose. Breath in and a breath out. Lift the heels, inhale. Bend your knees halfway, look forward on the exhale. Next inhale, step quietly to the top of your mat. And exhale to bow. Rooting down, take the arms wide and inhale. Return to standing. Exhale, hands immediately rest at the side body. Tadasana and your eyes will close. Feel the transition. Feel the space. Notice the pulsation. Notice the movement. Take a breath in and open the eyes and the breath out. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead and exhale to bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. With the exhale, bow forward, place the palms flat, step high plank pose. Breath in high plank. Lower halfway, exhaling. Roll over the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale over your toes, downward facing dog. One breath in stillness. Long exhale to release. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhaling, right foot to right thumb, left foot warrior two. Straight arms all the way up to reverse your warrior. Take a breath. Go a little deeper with the arc of the right hand back. And then on the inhale, return to warrior two. And on the exhale, interlace your hands behind you. You can keep the elbows bent, close the palms, and note the plug of the shoulders back. Then puff the chest on the inhale. You'll bow forward to the inside edge of the right knee, thigh on the exhale, and allow the crown of your head to come all the way down to the mat. There's a playfulness here with the shoulders from the ears, but the weight of the arms to come forward. And keeping that right knee square, stay in the fold, release the hands all the way down to the mat, and then come to a halfway lift. A little deeper to the hip, you're going to walk those hands on a diagonal out in front. Stay on the fingertips first. Reassess, note the right knee over the ankle, note the right glute under the hip, and then place the palms flat. Very much like downward facing dog through the upper body, but warrior two in the low. A little deeper to the right inner thigh. Keep the left knee lifted. Take a breath. And then melt the heart with the exhale. Take one more breath. Stay for that exhalation. Come back to your fingertips and then slowly begin to walk your hands to the inside edge of your right foot. As you come back to the toes of the left foot, place your palms flat and from there lower the left knee down. The left hand can come wider than your mat and a slight turn. Again, you're going to pivot on that right heel, but this time the toes will only open about 45 degrees. And your right hand can come to the middle of your right thigh. So you press the energy of that right thigh away from you and you soften into that left front thigh, up into the hip flexor. From there, reach the right arm all the way back. Bend your left knee, catching the foot, flexing the foot. A little deeper to create a soft seal between the hamstring and the calf muscle. So you want to send your butt back. And then bend your elbow and keep the heel quite close to the butt. Press the ball of your right big toe mound down and then hook that and then softly lower the left hip down. It's good, it's big, it's juicy. Pull that left shoulder back, please. Again, look to the right. Maybe look all the way up to the ceiling. It's nice to smile. Take a breath and feel what you feel. And then very slowly begin to unwind that. So the right hand will come to the inside edge of your foot. Both palms are flat. Let's bring the toes of your right foot forward. Align, lift your back knee up. This time send your right leg up into the sky for more of a three-legged dog. On your inhale, travel forward, stack the shoulders over the wrist, and on the exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice big breath in. 
and a nice long breath out. Inhale, the left leg will lift. And exhaling, left foot to left thumb, right foot warrior two. Straight arms all the way up into your reverse warrior. Take a breath and stay for the exhale. On the inhale, come back to warrior two, pause, reset. And then as the hands come to interlace behind you, shift the interlace, go the other way. Bring the palms to touch. Allow the shoulders to plug back. Hips are wide open here. Inhale, extend the arms long, lift your heart up. And then exhale, bow forward. And as you bow forward again, let the crown of the head come to the mat. Shoulders from the ears, the weight of the arms comes forward. Keep the left glute under the hip, stay here. Keep the right knee lifting and charging with the right thigh and then release the hands. Come to the lengthening process of the spine. Walk your fingertips in front of you, that same diagonal. That you really do note that you can reach and continue to reach the side body grows in space. Press the palms flat. Wrap the left glute under the hip and then begin to melt the heart. That area of the back shoulders touches and melts through the front heart. Again, it's quite big. Find the enjoyment level. Take another breath in and stay for that breath out. Come back onto the fingertips and then slowly begin to walk your hands to the inside edge of your left foot, coming to the toes of the right and then lowering the right knee down. So right now you're saying, uh-huh, I can feel that right hip, and you can. Take your right hand a little wider than the mat, plant the palm. Left toes will lift, pivoting on that heel again, that foot open. And then bring the left hand just to the top of the left thigh. So you want to send that energy of that left thigh softly away from you, just so that you get more space, almost in the region of the inner thighs, that pelvis, that cradle that holds us. And then reach that left arm back. Bend the right knee and reach for the foot. So the right hand is your rooting energy down. The bicep is forward, the shoulder is plugged. You want to keep that plug. And then that seal that we did on the other side, you want to lift your booty back. Draw the heel close toward the glute itself. Maintain that seal with the bent elbow. And then lower the hip closer down toward the mat. And again, yeah, you might feel the difference from side to side of the body. Totally normal. Look over the left shoulder, maybe. Look all the way deep, maybe up, and keep the shoulders soft. Enjoy the breath. Take your time to unwind. Release the back foot. Bring both hands back down to the inside edge of the left foot. And as you turn the toes of the left foot forward, lift the back knee up. Take your time, three-legged downward facing dog as the left leg will lift. Inhale, you glide to high plank. And exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And exhale again, place the right foot to the right thumb. Lower the left knee down. One breath, inhale, lift the fingertips. And again, that right big toe mound is your root. Exhale to float the back knee, arms reach back. Take a breath, really reach the heart forward here. And stay for the exhalation. Inhale, lift the arms quarter way up. So we're more on a diagonal, there's a beautiful reach here. Inhale, extend that length, and exhale, just draw the hands beside you, soft little yogi fists. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Now this time, root through the right big toe mound, and as you exhale, draw the hands in and the left knee up. Pause, root. Inhale, lift the arms. Now notice your focus point. Bring your right hand to hold the hip. Lower the left knee down, but as the left heel comes toward the glute, the left hand reaches back, and you hold the big toe mound. Pause, looking down even, you want to see the left knee in line with the right. Hips are square. Carry the right arm back up toward that ceiling. Bicep to ear, thumb and index finger are hold here. The pose we know as dancers. Lift to lengthen on the inhale, and then begin equally to reach forward and kick back as you exhale. Pause inside your breath. Take another cycle. 
Reach forward, kick back as you exhale. Take another breath. Reach forward, kick back as you exhale. Stay, linger, enjoy, take a breath. Slowly begin to return. As you draw the left knee up, both hands lift. Breath cycle is big. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bend into the standing leg, reach back and quietly land your lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, circle the fingertips, plant the palms. Step, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. One more like that, inhale and exhale. Inhale, the left leg will lift and exhale. Place your left foot to the left thumb, right knee again to touch down. Inhale to sweep the arms up. And exhale, back knee floats, hand sweep beside you. Inhale to lift those arms all the way up overhead and then reach them more of a 45 degree angle in front of you. The fingertips are the reach on the inhale. Exhale those little yogi fists to the side body as you exhale. Inhale to reach with the left big toe mound and exhale, draw the right knee up. Pause. Lift the arms up, anchor the breath. Focal point again is very important. Left hand comes to the hip. I want you to keep that. And then as you lower the right knee down to the left knee, the foot comes behind you and the right hand reaches back to hold. Anchor your breath cycle. Looking down maybe, right knee beside the left knee. Gaze is steady and then the left arm lifts. Thumb and index finger find your connection. Pose of a dancer. Begin to lift. And equally, reaching forward and kicking back. Pause, build the breath. Take another cycle. See if it's there, go a little deeper. And take another cycle. See if it's there. And go a little deeper. Take one more breath. Enjoy the reach. And then slowly, Begin to draw the right knee up. Both arms will lift. Pause, 90 degree bend. Revisit hands to heart. Soft micro bend in that left knee so you gracefully reach back. Quietly landing that right foot down, lunge pose. Inhale to lift. Exhale to circle. Planting the palms. Inhale to high plank. And exhale to lower through your vinyasa. Inhale, stand on those hands, lift up your heart, and exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Big, beautiful breath in, and a long exhale out. Lift the heels on your inhale, lower the knees to the earth, cross the ankles from behind you, and softly roll yourself over your seat, and you can extend the legs out in front. And here, maybe even walk a few inches that you can pull the flesh out all on its own from the sitting bones and allow the energy to stay with the feet forward. So from here, we're gonna keep that left leg as its root. Draw the right knee in and then allow that right knee to bend. Your left hand here can reach for the outside edge of your right foot. You'll be able to hold that with that knee bent and then plug the hip back. Lift your right arm up. Keep the right arm toward the ceiling as you extend the right leg now towards straight. Flex both feet. As you lift, imagine that your body is sitting against a wall. Continue to grow taller. With the exhalation, send your right arm behind you. Thumb and index finger will connect. And then begin to look to the right. As you stay tall with the breath, lift the crown of the head, and then perhaps look all the way to the right hand. Guide the breath cycle in. Stay again for that full cycle of breath out. Bring yourself slowly with the eyes to center. Lift your right arm back up. And as you slide the right hand to the base of that right knee, slide the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. 
called Rock the Baby. I'm just going to draw that foot in. So more of a triangular shape here. Your hand can be on the outside edge of the knee, left hand on the outside edge of the foot. You just want to find some mobility in that hip. It's a happy place. So you just, just linger, rock move, going deeper. Inner elbow can hold, inner elbow can hold, and you can interlace the hands, the outside edge of the calf, but you're sitting quite tall. So if you figure that it's rock the baby and you just get to rock into your hip, it's good. Take one more breath here. And then I'd like you to extend, release, and lower that right leg down. Give it a little kick. Feel it. It's a good place. And then we'll draw that left knee in. Pause. The right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. You want to plug the hip. Keep the plug of the hip. Keep your body tall as the left hand lifts. Thumb and index finger again on your connection. As you exhale, the left arm goes back and the left leg draws towards straight. You can continue to lift the crown of the head up, looking softly over the left shoulder. Flex the right foot, flex the left, sit a little taller with the inhale. Gaze a little deeper with your exhale. Take one more breath. A little deeper to the left hand and empty the breath out. Taking your time to bring your eyes back to the top of your mat. Soft bend into that left knee so the left hand can hold you from back. Slide the right hand around, cut the edge of the foot please. And as you just turn that hip in, your left hand can hold the knee. And now you're on the opposite side so you can rock. And again, if this is perfect, enjoy it, stay. Deeper, inner elbow can wrap the knee. Inner elbow can wrap the foot, and there's that same interlace around the shin and the calf. So mobility, as we know, ball and socket joints, they really are there. They're healthy. The more we move them, the happier we will be. So enjoy one or two more breaths. And then unwinding, release the left foot, please, in line with your right. Pause and kick all of that out. Carry the arms up overhead, allow your toes to touch. And then lower yourself halfway toward the earth. I'd like you to pause there. As you bend into the elbows, hold something imaginary and yet very, very colorful between your own hands and arms. Take a breath. And then lower yourself again a little closer, but not all the way down. So that you really know this contrast here. The aligning, the lengthening, the strengthening, the balance. Take another breath. And then with time and with grace, bring yourself all the way down to the mat. When you reach the mat, release your arms. Please get big in your space. Same with your feet. They can come off the mat. Let the toes fall open, let the fingertips drift. Lift the shoulder blades. And then close your eyes with the intention here of meeting Shavasana with perfect quiet. That you find the balance that exists between the mind and the body. And this place, as we set the intention at the beginning of your practice, to stay very present, to acknowledge those transitions, those changes, be them big or small, to rest in them.
taking a few deeper breaths. Bringing movement back through your fingers and your toes. And taking your time to bend the knees. And it is nice to keep your eyes closed as you roll toward your right. You can bend the elbow, cradle your head. Keep that luxury, that place inside, deeply awake. Press down with the left hand. Guide yourself back to seat. Make yourself comfortable. And again, with the crown of the head lifted, open your arms, big, bright, take a breath. And then wrap your arms around yourself, the exhale. Bow the chin to the chest. And it is said that it takes seven seconds for the exchange of serotonin to exist between two people in a hug. So you get to give yourself a big hug and hold it. A minimum of seven seconds. the crown of the head, unwind. Bring your hands back to the heart, open your eyes. And then go hug somebody else for seven seconds. Namaste. Mm -hmm.